Okay, so section 10.2 is on plane curves uh, and parametric equations. And so I gave an example uh, at the end of the last class um, where we parametrized the unit circle. And uh, the parametrization that I gave um, is certainly not a unique thing. Okay, there's different ways to parametrize uh, the unit circle. Okay, and so um, I'll, I'll, I'm going to write down a different parametrization of the unit circle. And um, I, mean, I, I guess beforehand I should discuss um, at least the definitions of parametric equations and, 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 and um, what a plane curve is. So uh, basically what we're doing here is you know, we're defining coordinates in the plane x and y as functions of a parameter t. So consider x as a function of t and y as a function of t where uh, f and g are at least continuous functions. So I'll say where f and g are continuous on some interval i. So these are parametric equations, and um, when you, we plot the points in the plane, we get a planar curve. And so, uh, to, to uh, do the example of the unit circle, so we're going to do a parametrization. Well, if you recall, the example that I gave in class involved um, x equals sine of t and y equals cosine of t. Well, here's a different parametrization. x equals cosine of t, y equals sine of t. Okay, and so um, in order to plot points, okay, so in general when we have parametric equations. We have x is a function of t and y is a function of t. What we should do is we should come up with a, with a table where we put values of t in one column, what x is in another, and also what y is. So in this case, um, and usually when we specify parametric equations, we provide an interval for values of t. So let's say t is on the interval from 0 to 2 pi. Um, I'll make this a half open, half closed set. Uh, wouldn't matter much if I made it a closed set. Uh, in any case, um, or I'm going to choose different values of t like we did in class. I'm going to choose 0, pi over 4, pi over 2, 3 pi over 4, pi Five pi over four, three pi over two, and let me make some more room here. Seven pi over four and two pi. So, cosine at zero. Cosine at zero, of course, is one. So this is our x coordinate. Cosine of pi over 4, root 2 over 2. Cosine at pi over 2 is 0. Cosine at 3 pi over 4 is minus root 2 over 2. Cosine at pi is minus 1. And filling in, we have a minus root 2 over 2, 0, root 2 over 2, and then finally 1 again. Okay, and even though we're not including 2 pi in our interval of t, it doesn't really matter. I mean, we're, we're getting so close that we might as well evaluate x and y at 2 pi. Uh, values of y are sine of t, so sine of 0 is 0, sine of pi over 4 is root 2 over 2, sine of pi over 2 is 1, 
sine of 3 pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. Sine of pi is 0. Sine of 5 pi over 4 is now negative root 2 over 2. Negative 1, negative root 2 over 2, and then finally 0. So now to plot points in the xy plane using this table. Here's y, here's x. Our first point is the point 1, 0. That's here. Our next point is root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. That would be here. The next point is 0, 1. That is here. The next point is minus root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. That would be here. And then if I fill in all these points, hopefully you see that I'm basically filling in the points on a circle. And if I now insert a curve connecting these points, this is the planar curve that has been parametrized. Okay? And there is an orientation on these planar curves that are in the form of parametric equations. Okay? And you can see that this is the unit circle. Okay? So now, um, You've seen two different parametrizations of the unit circle. There are certainly infinitely many parametrizations. Um, uh, another parametrization, which wouldn't really make any sense, but nonetheless it's still another parametrization, would be the following. So another parametrization. Um, x equals cosine of, let's say, e to the t, y equals sine e to the t. I know this seems strange, but this is another parametrization. However, we have to make sure that t spans uh, a large enough interval to traverse the whole unit circle. Okay, so um, more on that in a second, but so, or, or, if, if we go back to the previous example, notice that t ranged between 0 and 2 pi. That was enough to complete the curve that represents the unit circle. Um, if we had t ranging between 0 and pi, we would only be traversing half of the unit circle. Uh, and if we had had t ranging between 0 and, let's say, 10 pi, well, we would certainly be traversing the unit circle and we would actually be going around five times, okay? So here, well, we, so here it's not exactly clear what t needs to range to traverse the whole unit circle. Um, I mean, we can be sloppy and choose t between zero and let's say, well, if t is zero, then e to the zero is one. Uh, we really just need e to the t to range between one and one plus two pi. And so clearly, if we choose t to range between 0 and, let's say, um, 2, then we have certainly uh, traversed the unit circle and per perhaps a little bit more. Okay. Um, this parametrization pretty much wouldn't make sense to you because it just makes things more confusing. Uh, but this is just to show uh, that there are numerous different kinds of parametrizations.